Okay, we're going to use short division today to divide numbers. Now this becomes a really big focus in year five as well, in year six. So we want to make sure that the foundations are really in place. So let's look at 48 divided by two. Now, there are several ways you could solve that mentally or mentally with a jotting. And actually, in an ideal world, we probably wouldn't use short division to do this, but I want to use it just to demonstrate what's going on when we do short division. So remember, this is sometimes called the bus stop method. I've got this little bus stop type shape and I'm putting the number that I'm dividing inside and the number I'm dividing by goes on the outside. Now what I'm asking myself at each step is how many groups of two are there in each part of this number? So I'm saying first of all how many groups of two are there in four? Of course really what I'm saying is how many twos are there in 40 but we think of it as four for the moment. How many times does two go into four? Well let's Draw four dots, one group of two, two groups of two. So two goes two times into four. There are two groups of two in four. Four divided by two is two. What about eight then? Well, let's draw eight dots. How many groups of two can I make in eight? Well, one, two, three, four. I can make four groups of two in eight. So 48 divided by two is 24. What happens with this one? Still dividing by two. Now, the problem here is look, two, how many groups of two can I make out of one? Well, here's one. So the answer is none. I can't make any groups of two yet because I've only got one. One is less than two. So I've, this is the tricky part. I've got to then take this one and I'm going to regroup it up here. I'm going to put it up here. So I'm now looking at 14 or 14 tens. So now we can draw 14. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Now I already know it's going to divide exactly by two because I know 14 is an even number. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven lots of Two in 14, 14 divided by two is seven. Two times seven is 14. And again, we've seen two goes into eight, four times, two, four, six, eight. What about 138 divided by two then? Well, let's have a look at this. Let me space a little bit. So again, we've seen, well, one, I can't make a group of two yet. So no groups of two. I'm going to put that one over here. So now I'm going to look at 13, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. I'm thinking straight away, I reckon there's going to be one left over because I know 13 is an odd number. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 groups of two. And one is left over. 6 times 2 is 12. 12 to 13, there's one left over. There's a difference of one. So I need to regroup that one as well. How many times does two go into 18? Well, rather than draw dots this time, I'm going to count up in my twos. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. That is nine times. Two goes into 18, nine times. 18 divided by two is nine. So the answer to this question is 69. What about this final example then? 137 divided by two. So we already know two doesn't go into um, one. So we've got to regroup that one. We've already seen Two goes into 13 six times, leaving a remainder of one. But then we're left with this 17. Now, if we draw our dots again, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. That's counting twos. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight lots of twos. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight lots of twos, which is 16. But then there's this one left over at the end, isn't there? There's one by itself. So the way I write that in math is I say there's a remainder, little one, remainder means what's left over, a remainder, but R1, there's one left over. So I'd like you to have a go at these questions now. Again, follow the steps I've put. If you need to draw the little uh, groups to help you, then absolutely do that. If you can do it by thinking of your times tables, this is where our times tables facts are just so important, then fantastic as well. Okay, pause the video, unpause when you're ready. Okay, here we go. So, three into 39. Well, three goes once into three. Three times one is three. Three times three 
is 9. 9 divided by 3 is 3. 129 divided by 3. Well, again, I can't make a group of 3 out of 1, so there's no groups of 3. I regroup that over here. 3 goes into 12. 3, 6, 9, 12. 4 times. 3 times 4 is 12. And I know 3 times 3 is 9. What about this one, though? Well, again, we know it doesn't go there. Let's look at 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So I already know it wasn't going to divide exactly by 3 because I know my 3 times table, and 11 is not in the 3 times table. So how many groups of 3 can I make in 11? Well, I can make 1, 2, 3, 3, 6, 9. I can make 3 groups of 3, which is 9. 9 to 11 is a difference of 2. There are 2 left over, so I'm going to regroup that here. How many times is 3 going to 29 then? Well, I know that 3 times 9 is 27. 3 times 10 would be 30, which is too far. 3 times 9 is 27. What's left over? Well, there's a remainder of 2. 28, 29. 2 left over. So pause, uh, stop the video now. Have a go at the independent task. Don't forget, though, if you need to draw these groups, you absolutely can do that. It gets a bit trickier when you've got larger numbers like here. But you might also find it might help to write out your times table facts as well before you start. So I'm going to write out my three times tables. Just helps me to make sure that I'm really confident with using my number facts.